All right, day eight of how to uplift. We're going to do the saving Boralis event that we do each week on Sundays. And so we'll go over to server Boralis. And we've got a portal here from Spawn. So this event is uh, a village raid. You can kind of see the big uh, Illager banner we have here at the Mirage. We'll go over there. And um, we'll maybe do a video on how the raiding mechanics work someday. But in a nutshell, um, you get a omen curse on you. Uh, which you can get at the fort, and then we go over to the village and start a raid. I'll take a quick peek in at the fort. So the this is the outpost. So it spawns pillagers and captains. If there's captains, you can kill them and they give you a curse. There's a pillager over there. So we made a little fort here. We'll kind of go through that. The event just started, so we'll want to get over there. And we'll be right back. We'll actually jump in the other hub over to the Mirage. Alrighty, and this is our little base here. We're starting to put together. We're going to put a map room down here. And a little base for the museum for people to hang out and look at the temple. All under construction right now. Some free food. We'll go up to the top of the tower here for the view. And then off to the side here, there's a village. I'm sure there's a raid going on now. And I missed. there with my video. Probably ought to put on some armor. You can see our, our banner over there. Looks like another wave just started. You see a little Vex over there, so it must be towards the end of the raid already. Here they come. Let's see if we can get a totem here. Yeah, that was fast. We have it on hard mode, and uh, Quite difficult. And I forgot to set my spawn. Um, well, while we're here, this is our um, underground base, kind of modeled after the Indiana Jones um, where they hide the Ark, is the idea here. We took some inspiration from. So we've got a little slime farm, a little area for your armor, plants. Storage for nether and end. Wood, stone, little uh, mob storage, little mob farm. So I need to get back to the raid and actually set my spawn point in case I die that I'm still there in the village. I'll be right back. 
We'll try this again. Set our spawn in case we die again. They've started another raid. We we um, basically have a system going where one person will go get Omen, or a couple people start the raid every time we need to. So uh, raiders can just hang out over here and um, try not to die. And I am apparently lagging with the uh, video running. So this may not work. interesting shots while uh, nothing is loading. And before my weapons even loaded, I died again. Minecraft behind the scenes. Let's see if we can uh, step out of this raid area and load again. Try here one more time. That's the whole reason to do a raid is to get those totems. It's the only way you can get them in the game. You put them in your offhand. They prevent you from dying. Or when you die, you basically get a free life. I don't have my shield. These little guys pack a punch. Finish the raid without my help. So I have a shield in my shulker, but since I'm not whitelisted on the village property, I need to go over here, put my shulker down to get my shield out. Usually I'm a little more prepared when we start these. Backpack, grab my shield, put that on. Let's see if we can get one more attempt at a raid loading. We've already got another one started. But it's fun. We've got only a little less than a dozen people a day. Usually there's more than a dozen. Sometimes we start two at the same time in different villages. It's kind of fun. We split everybody up, get a couple of runners. It's a little early. We do this event for about two hours most weekends. So couple people come in the first hour. Usually the peak is in the middle. You see a lot of regulars aren't here yet. If you hit this, you can uh, see where the enemies are. They light up. I think I have several chests full of um, banners from those guys. I've been doing this for a couple months, several months. And I'm lagging again. Here comes another wave. That's why I died so fast. I had my armor on. It's a whole new element if your screen doesn't load in front of you. But 
think you get the idea. Again, another fun community thing that we do. And um, everybody kind of pitches in you, whatever loot you get, you get. Everybody's pretty good about sharing. Usually check at the end, make sure everybody's got idols. And one of them, make sure everybody got some. Usually go after the flag ones first just to collect the flags. And the guys with axes generally drop emeralds, which are nice to have. Make beacons and stuff. Let's take one more wave. This is a hard one. In hard mode, they've got multiple evokers. So you get more idols, but it's quite a bit harder. Luckily it's keep inventory is on, so dying isn't that much of a burden. Be a lot much different story on a normal survival where you drop everything. There's the poker there. I think this guy's got me in mind. Uh oh. Looks like one more wave, and I'm dead. And looks like we're waiting to load. Switched to new servers last week, and I think they're still getting them all adjusted. We also upgraded it to hard mode, which I think puts a bigger load on the server. So it might be the server, might be my video here. And one more shot. And that happened. So if you want to come raid with us, all the links are down in the description on how to uh, learn more about the uplift. Um, we can get you whitelisted so you can come join in the raids and hang out with us. Love to have you. And I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.